One important thing when we're speaking about disaster recovery is to have a valid backup of the machine. So we'll try to perform a backup on here. First thing we do is to add the backup option. So again, we'll right click computer and manage. And when we're presented with the window, we can connect the backup server feature. So now that the management console has loaded, we can go to features and we want to add a feature. If we scroll on down, we'll find the Windows Server Backup Features are available. We only need the Windows Server Backup, we're not going to use the command line tools. So again, we'll do next and install the package. And there we have it installed. So from our administrative tools, we can now find the program. As you can see, we have no activity listed on here. So we will need to create a new backup. We'll schedule one to run in a few minutes. So we'll back up with a schedule. And we'll follow the wizard through. We'll back up the full server. And we'll start it in a few moments time. So we'll start 2330. With several places we can back up to. We could back up the hard drive that's only used for backups. We can back up to a shared folder of the network. The one we are going to do is back up onto the volumes we created earlier. So what we'll do is we'll add in our read volume. And now the backup is sitting waiting for the time to come to start. One of the things you can do is configure the performance settings. This allows you to balance the impact the backup will have on the server against how long it will take the backup to perform. We can, for instance, choose a faster backup performance, but this will impact the performance of the server. So, having chosen that option, we now have to wait for the backup to run.